Uh, just wondering, uh, there is a lot of uh, ambition for uh, Houston this time to be one of the cities uh, to host the uh, uh, FIFA uh, World Cup. What makes Houston is the best place to host a uh, competition uh, compared to the other cities in the USA? Sure. Well, you know, Houston, first and foremost, is the fourth largest city in the United States. So, um, you know, we, we're right up there with New York, L.A. and Chicago as uh, some of the biggest and best cities in America. Uh, and also Houston has hosted more major sporting events than any other city in the United States since 2004. And that would include major events like the, the NFL Super Bowl or the NCAA Final Four basketball tournament. Uh, and of course, uh, all star games for Major League Baseball, the National Basketball Association, Major League Soccer. And of course, uh, numerous uh, international soccer matches over the course of the last decade plus. So uh, we've got this experience and this know how for hosting major sporting events. And we also have uh, tremendous in infrastructure in place here from two international airports to uh, NRG Park, which is our 70,000 seat uh, arena with a retractable roof um, and other uh, facilities on campus, um, as well as great hotels, transportation and other bits of infrastructure that uh, will enable us to be uh, operationally prepared to host an event on the scale of a World Cup. Chris, I believe FIFA uh, are planning to visit Houston or, or the other bidding cities during uh, next uh, July. I'm not sure if this is still fixed. You know, uh, everything is uh, uh, challenging during that. Uh, however, do you believe that Houston is ready for the FIFA uh, inspection team? Absolutely. We're, uh, we are so prepared and ready to host them as soon as they're able to get into the market. Uh, again, we've hosted many events before in the past. We've uh, hosted uh, several committees like this who have come in to uh, give site inspections and to tour the city to see what we have. And uh, we are very much looking forward to FIFA coming into our city, spending a few days here, getting to know Houston uh, a little bit better and showing them all of the tremendous assets, resources that we have in place that will uh, allow them to conduct a, a very successful tournament here in our great city. 2026 FIFA World Cup uh, will be the first tournament, a historical one with the 48 teams for the first time in the history of the FIFA World Cups. How is that, how, how's that is special uh, for the 2026 World Cup? And of course, for Houston, that they will be part of the history of football. Yeah, the, all, there's so many things about 2026 that make it exciting with, you know, it being hosted in three different nations with the U.S., Mexico and Canada. And of course, the field being expanded uh, to 48 teams and 80 matches being played across 16 different cities. Uh, you know, Houston would be honored and thrilled to be part of, uh, of that history moment when it takes place here in 2026. Again, we know that we're, uh, we're capable as a city. We're ready as a silly city. We have a passion for football. Uh, we are one of the most uh, international and diverse cities uh, in North America. So it would be a, a tremendous opportunity to bring the world's game to a city like ours. And uh, again, we're very excited to show FIFA um, what Houston can bring to the table to deliver uh, a very successful event in 2026. Chris, the United States already uh, hosted the 1994 FIFA World Cup. That was a long time ago. What's the difference this time uh, in 2026, do you believe? Uh, I'm speaking about uh, uh, the revenues, uh, the uh, popularity of the soccer and, and the USA, uh, the, the fans. Uh, uh, what has been learned from 1994 World Cup? Well, you know, 1994 was a tr tremendously successful World Cup uh, for FIFA and for the United States. Uh, it was successful in many different ways. Uh, many people didn't believe that the United States could deliver uh, a successful World Cup, and we did. And one of the most important things that came out of 1994 was the birth of Major League Soccer, which kicked its first ball in 1996. So uh, we have since had a thriving professional soccer league in our country, in North America, that has uh, expanded um, you know, to new heights, uh, the, the growth of the sport in this country has been absolutely tr uh, incredible over the last few years in particular. Uh, and if it wasn't for that World Cup uh, in 1994 and the legacy it created, uh, perhaps the game would not have grown to the levels that it's grown to today in our country. But, uh, you know, the sport is still young um, and the professional league is still young in comparison to some of the other major sports that exist in this country. And uh, sky is, the sky is certainly the limit for soccer, uh, for football in the United States. And uh, having a World Cup here 30 years later, 
uh, in 2026 um, will only strengthen that and create even further legacy uh, for the game to grow and to become more popular. Chris, uh, what uh, legacy could 2026 World Cup could leave for the North America and for Houston? Well, in Houston, we're very focused on legacy. Uh, we've been uh, embarking on this bid process for well over two years now. And uh, while we are a, a great city and a, and a large city and an, and an internationally diverse city um, and operationally ready to host a World Cup, you know, we see uh, a big opportunity to to create a legacy for uh, for the sport and uh, for the residents of the Houston area. So we've been very focused on how we can leverage the 2026 FIFA World Cup and leverage the sport of, of football um, to help grow the game in the South Texas area, to help uh, impact things such as human rights and to help um, you know, protect the environment as well. So we've uh, initiated a, a, a strategy called Winning Through Soccer that uh, we are excited to unveil in a few weeks here to, to show everybody how Houston has been forward thinking uh, strategically and how we're going to create uh, a great legacy uh, for years to come well after the final ball is kicked in 2026. Uh, uh, Chris, you are talking to us from 2026 uh, uh, country uh, FIFA World Cup. We are speaking to you from here from the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Are you following the preparation of Qatar 2022? How confident you are? Absolutely. Uh, Definitely. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sorry to, it's um, going to be special because it's historical as well. This is the first time to be uh, held uh, organized in the Middle East. Yes, I've definitely been following. Um, it's exciting. Uh, it's it's going to be here soon before you know it. Uh, it looks like the pieces are starting to fall in place and it's going to be a spectacular event. I hope to, uh, to myself uh, that I can be there to celebrate and, and see and learn uh, as we prepare for 2026 here in Houston. 